My fellow South Africans, citizens of the world, fans, haters and other chodos. My name is KC, certified mother. Uh, today is Mother's Day and I want to take this opportunity to wish all mothers out there a very happy Mother's Day. And know that most of you are loved and appreciated. Being a mother, to give birth, to nurture and raise another human being is indeed a gift. And while many praise God for this beautiful gift, I think it's about time that we you use this day to honor, praise, cherish, worship the real provider of this gift, of this bundle of joy, who has given you a sense of purpose in life and brought you untold joy. And that is, of course, who I'm referring to is your man, your husband. Yes! Because let's be brutally honest, without him, this gift would not have been possible. And as much as it pains you to acknowledge this, it's him and his little soldiers that have made you a mother and made this possible. And his contribution is not to be scoffed at. No, siri, it's not just three to four minutes of his life. Let me explain why you need to honor your man on this day. You see, it's every woman's dream to fall pregnant and to have a child. Well, to give birth, there must be fertilization of the egg. Now, for fertilization to occur, there must be coitus. Coitus, man. You know what? Okay, for the benefit of the breeders out there, coitus means sex. Like, you know? Yeah. Now, now we all know char flows, like our char aunties, they don't initiate sex. When you say sex, they say, hey, go away, man, so rude you are. So when they come out of the bathroom, they got that flannel nightgown all buttoned up all the way to the top, yeah? Right? And uh, when they come under the duvet, they turn and they sleep and they face the window. Now you seeing their back now. Now the man now, he must initiate First, he must test the waters, like he must put his leg down by her leg, by the ankle, just touch the ankles a little bit, he touch first, it's a feeler. She responds with, hey, what's wrong, man? So cold your legs out, and you never cut your nails. So many times I told you, go away, man. But a man knows, no, when it comes to women, no means yes. So he continues moving his leg up, her legs, past their knees, and as soon as you get in between her thighs, that's when she rolls onto her back. And as much as every woman wants to be pregnant, their total contribution to ensuring that it happens is rolling onto their back. This is the silent invitation. But this is where a man's contribution must be truly appreciated as he literally puts his life at risk. You think I'm being dramatic? Let me explain. When the woman rolls onto her back, the man now has to get on top of his wife to engage in coitus. And let me tell you, for men like me, it's a bit of an effort. Getting on top of my fro is like climbing a small mountain. It takes a bit of an effort. And once on top, I've got to hold on for dear life because if I fall from that height, I'm liable to fracture or even break a bone. So once on top, the man starts the process. He starts going first slowly and he starts to pick up speed and while his whole body is in motion as he starts to hit top speed which is normally around 60 seconds he starts hitting top speed right and as he hits top speed he stands the risk of pulling a muscle or hurting his back right his heart rate is so high that he could literally have a heart attack and while all this is happening madam is doing her part lying on her back staring at the ceiling. Okay, she occasionally barks some instructions like, yes, 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 no, 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 do you fucking stop now. Listen, I had a friend, true story, who was, he was in the process of all of this, he was having a heart attack and his fro was screaming, don't you stop now, don't you stop now. And that potter, he listens to his fro, he had to postpone his heart attack and finish the mission. And when the woman is pregnant, the whole family come by the posy, 
She lying there in a nightdress in the bed. They all come and stroke her stomach and say, congratulations, well done, congratulations, well done. Meanwhile, the creator, the director, the main actor is parking outside. He is busy smoking like on chut there. But nobody, and I say nobody, goes up to him and stroke his knob and say, good boy, well done, boy, good boy. Here's a boy key. So, for Mother's Day, today, all mothers today, please, on this special day, salute Praise and honor your man for making you a mother. Cook him a fabulous meal, wash his feet, drink the water. And if you can't do that, give him head. He'll appreciate that. I'm KC. I'm out. Don't die alive, but